The new XMG30 is a great little compact modeler, especially considering its price. And it comes loaded from the factory with a good library of presets. Now, you might want to tweak or personalize some of those presets or even create your own, and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. The signal path in the MG30 is comprised of 11 blocks, and it's possible to move some of those blocks around, and we're going to do that right now. So I've got a blank preset loaded up here that we're going to work off, and in this preset, before we get started, we're just going to change the order of two blocks. We're going to change the order of the modulation block and the EQ block. So the modulation block is going to move till after the amp and the EQ is going to move before. And in, in order to change the order of these blocks, you just press and hold the two block buttons down. So push the EQ button and then press and hold the modulation button and you can see that they flipped. Now the sound is very unexciting at the moment because there's no effects turned on, no amp sims or anything. All right, so let's go ahead and add an amplifier. In order to do that, I can just push the amp button down, give it a short press, and I've turned the amp on. However, there's no speaker simulation there, so it definitely sounds uh, pretty fizzy. So let's go and turn the impulse response on by the, doing the same thing. Okay, that's a lot better. Now if I want to tweak the amp parameters, I can just press and hold the amp button to get into the, uh, the actual block. And you can see that I'm on the Plexi 100. We're going to change this. Uh, let's go to Plexi 45. And I can tweak the parameters now using these encoders down here. Uh, if I want to get over to the second page, you'll see that there's this number two on the screen right there. That's corresponding to this second encoder. I press that down and I'm over on the second page and I can start manipulating those parameters too. So let's take a listen. Okay, not bad. Let's go over to the impulse response block. Push and hold. And you can see that I'm on a Greenback 412 cab with a U87 style mic. Let's change this. Let's go to the 1960 cab and I want to change the mic from the R121 to the U87 again, and I'm going to change the position of that to the middle. Cool. Let's add some other effects. I'm going to add a, a drive pedal in front to push the amp sim a little bit. So I'm going to press and hold the effects button, EFX button. Okay, and I'll turn it on by just giving a short press, and I can scroll through the different options here. Let's go back. Let's maybe use the RC. I keep forgetting to turn my volume on my guitar up. All right, add a little gain maybe, a bit more volume. Nice. All right, so I've also, I've only used three blocks so far, so I've got eight left that I can uh, take advantage of. Let's add some reverb. Can change this to a different type. It's on spring right now. Let's go to plate. Maybe bring the level down a little. Cool, and can I add some delay? All right, I want to maybe bring the uh, echo level, maybe change the time of the echo. Bring it more to about 3.30 and I'll bring the intensity down, which is controlling the mix. And let's also have a few less repeats. Okay. So again, there are other options if I want to, you know, I've, I flipped to the modulation and the EQ to bring the EQ in front of the amp so I could take advantage of that before my preamp stage. So let's go ahead and do that. Come over, we've got a model of a six band EQ here. So let's uh, push the mid range a little bit. I'm gonna turn the 500 Hertz up and I'll turn up 1.2K. and so on and so forth. So it's also uh, worth it to note that you have a, an effects loop block. So there's a send and return block that you can use to incorporate uh, either other pedals or maybe even use the MG30 
with the for cable method. So there's a really quick uh, overview of creating a preset and, and just showing you some of the ways that you can tweak some of these parameters inside of the MG30. And uh, for more information, you can head on over to AmericanMusical.com.